Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Underexposed. We, you know what? Let me let him introduce himself. Let the people know who you are. Okay. How y'all doing? My name is Arrington. Um, I go by Arrington. <laughs> that is my stage name, my rap name. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Arrington. You can find me on SoundCloud at Arrington. <laughs> uh, you can also find me on Apple Music and Spotify at <laughs> Arrington. <laughs> And um, even if you need to find my YouTube, it's uh, at Arrington. So there Easy, you go. Yeah, simple. I made it real simple for everybody. <laughs> Light work. <laughs> oh, we love that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to need you to break down these songs. Okay. I'm going right. to need you to break down these songs. What was the inspiration behind them? How did okay. you come up with this lyrical genius? Let okay. Us know. So um, I started rapping back in about 2018. And um, just the growth from there to now, if you follow me, um, you, you've seen a definite change. And uh, the first two songs I did this year, last year, um, Another was actually a track that um, I made around a group of friends. Uh, we was just in the basement, you know, making a couple beats. And I really liked the beat, wrote a rap, got in the booth. Uh, most people would, would wonder like where the context of the song come from, um, but it's really just a thought in my head passing by so like that conversation type vibe it, it's something that i might have wanted to say some somebody in the past um definitely you know um definitely didn't felt like you know i wanted another chance at certain things another chance for certain people so um another is just a clever word play because i'm e so another another chance that's a vibe um, after that, we had what? Purple. Purple, I think, is uh, people's favorite from me so far because it's the deepest look inside of me. Um, everything in purple is really like when you listen to it, that's how you could look at me. Like if you, if you, I'm purple and pink, the surface isn't perfect to me. That, that, what that means is like the world is never going to be that perfect world, you know? And I know that. I know that. The world is what you make it so um you gotta make you gotta you gotta look at your world like it's perfect already everything happens for a reason and so i was brought here today for that same reason you feel me we out here underexposed i got a great opportunity with some great people it's a vibe for sure um that last track was uh, a freestyle um it was called the year of the goat freestyle and that's actually um, the name of Smino's track as well, it's the same name. So I just went with Year of the Goat. And I wrote that back when I was staying with my parents um, in like 2019. Uh, my little brother, he uh, he actually got to watch me record that. So I put on a show for him and it ended up being people's like favorite track that I did. Um, one of the most played I got on SoundCloud. So if you want to check out a real old OG track, you just go to SoundCloud, SoundCloud my back, and check it out. Um, and it's great. It's great. Um, I was glad to come here and showcase my stuff. I have music videos on YouTube, but um, I don't think I've had anything where I've performed for something. So this is a great first for me. We're glad to be the first. <laughs> yes, I love that. Love all those answers. That's crazy. That it's just conversations that you have. Oh yeah. Like yeah. that's dope. But I'd be thinking in the shower, you know, and I'm always like, I should have said this. So maybe one day I need to write it down and it could yeah. be a rap. <laughs> yeah, it might be it might be a verse. You never know. It might be a verse. Uh, so conversation piece. Yeah, right? Right. Conversation piece. So let's get into your background. Okay. You know, I can't leave it without talking about, you know, Louisiana. Oh yeah, yeah. Baby. <laughs> What's that with your baby? <laughs> no, I know that's what everybody want to hear. Uh, so yeah, I'm from I'm from Baton Rouge actually. So that's home with the LSU Tigers and the Southern Jaguars. Human jukebox, you go. I gotta shout them out. Um, and I grew up, you know, I grew up in between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. So I grew up in between like the East. Um, that's a real prominent area. Most people, they say the West Bank is the best bank. But if you're from the East, then you know that just ain't true. <laughs> you feel me? We got better food. We got better vibes. It might not be, you know, better crime-wise. But, <laughs> hey, you know, it is what it is. We love the city. And, you know, we got we got things for people out there. Um, being from there is a great experience. But getting out of there is a better one. Because people from Louisiana go to 
it give people all kinds of game, all kinds of, you know, vibes and stuff like that. You got Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is he's definitely he's he show he showed the way. He showed that you can make it out. So looking at him and watching his uh his journey for sure. Um from a from my age, he was younger than me when he started, so that's been, you know, something I can always look back on. We got currency, you know. We got people like J I D. People don't know. People don't know. But J I D actually he, he grew up out there in uh New Orleans too. He went to I think he went to St. Aug, if I'm not mistaken. And Smino as well. Smino grew up in New Orleans, that's why he always talking about uh Louisiana got them <laughs> them big booty girls, you know. And that's just it's just a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. You know, down there in St. Louis, he um he bought my other family. His last name's Mep too. So uh he said in the song, if we, we got the same last name, we might be cousins. So might be cousins for sure. This is dope. Yeah, That's yeah. dope. I love so them. do you think that those artists influence your sound today? Oh yeah, most definitely. Um Wayne, J. I. D. Smino, um, big influencers from when I was in high school, Joey Badass. Um, I liked um of course J. Cole and Kendrick. And uh growing up I was a Kanye kid. Like I grew up in two thousand six, so I was you know, I was bumping late registration like all the time. It was, it was, I knew the words to like the whole album <laughs> at six years old. So, you know, that's, that's when I realized how much I care for music. Um, and it's not even just so much rap. Um, a lot of rock music inspires me, a lot of R&B. Um, some of my favorite singers like Anita Baker, uh, Ooh, Luther Vandross, Marvin Gaye for sure. Like I like the classics, mm. I like the classics. If you never listen to uh, Maze and Frankie Beverly, Earth, Wind and Fire, like you gotta, you gotta hop on that cookout. Yes. You gotta hop on that cookout. <laughs> that music. cookout playlist. <laughs> so you know, uh, my, growing up, my family used to give me the aux cord and let me DJ. Like that's that's, that's how good my music taste they was. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, for sure. I love that. <laughs> mm, you said Anita Baker, you guys. My angel. No, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I love <laughs> Let that. me not sing. Oh, you're my <laughs> angel. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Dope. Dope. Oh, this is this is great. Not you. Oh, you're just like a jack of all trades. You can rap. You can also use the ox. And tell people what you got on today. Oh, so um, yeah, I'm being very humble about it. This is my <laughs> this is my brand. Um, this is Brownie Points Distribution. Um, it's actually um, a philanthropy brand. We want to um, start our own um, nonprofit organization when we get situated. Starting with just clothes and hats, tees and hats. Um, we're gonna be moving to hoodies next. People gonna be real excited for that. You're gonna see me in one of them, and you're gonna be like, "Dang, where do I, I get, get that?" It. I gotta yeah. get it. And all you gotta do is go to my bio. It's right there in the bio. Brownie Points Distro. You just click it, check us out, drop a follow, and get your merch if you like it, you know? You know, I'm I'm looking good in it. I'm feeling fly. He's clean, y'all. He's clean. Um, you know, so you can put it together too. <laughs> Anybody could do it. That's that's what this is all about. We wanna give back to like the kids and stuff. Um, growing up, I had to wear a uniform, so I didn't necessarily get to wear free dress. But for the kids who do, sometimes it's bullying going on when you're not wearing the flyest of clothes, when you don't have the freshest of shoes. So we want to make it swag available for everybody. You feel mm -hmm. me? Swag. Swag should be available for everybody. That's, That's how I felt as a kid, you know. That's dope. <laughs> and look at the swag, y'all. It's hot. It's clean. It's clean. I'm going to have to get a shot. Yeah. Oh, right yeah. Mm, tasty. yeah. But this is going to be our last question of the day. Okay. It's a two parter. We okay. Will wrap it up. Cool. And it's talking about your music right now and then where you see it in the next in couple. Yeah. Okay, okay. So my music right now, um, one thing um, my cousin keeps asking me is, do you see like music as a hobby or do you see yourself at the highest tier of it? And right now, um, I, I've been searching a lot with that answer. Um, I don't see it as a hobby. I've never seen it as a hobby, so I can't treat it like a hobby. And that's why I decided to step out at the, in these different moments because I don't I don't want a moment to pass me by. I don't want to have not taken an opportunity that could have been very great and beneficial for myself. So right now I'm just taking those opportunities, and um, in the future I want to be able to fully invest in myself. I, I consider myself independent. 
Um, so I want to be able to fully invest in that vision and that dream and see where I could go independently. See if I could have somebody match that energy one day, you know, match the hustle. I want to already have my own success whenever I go and approach somebody. For sure. And this is the beginning. Yes, this is the, we got you first. Yeah, y'all got to see <laughs> y'all got to see the very early product. This is the very beginning. So um yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that you came today. Thank you, thank you. Thank I you so much it. for appreciate coming it. here. Ah, yeah, thank you. It. It's the greatest opportunity. Right? Yeah, ah, yeah. Love this for you. Love this for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. So <laughs> shout out. I'm just teasing over here. Yeah, shout out underexposed for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's pretty simple. If you need to find me on anything, look, just Google Arrington, E-H-R-E-N-G-T-O-N. I know that's very unique. Um, you know, the first part is Irish. It's, um, Aaron means little king. So I got to live up to that. Got to live up to that name. Most people, when they meet me, funny enough, they'd be like, wow, that sounds like, like royalty. Prince, (laughs) Prince Arrington. I'm like, yeah. 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 (laughs) <laughs> Put some respect on my name. Wow, thank you, Arrington, Prince Arrington. Oh, thank you, thank you. For coming on the today. Show. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to tune in next week. We love y'all. We had a great time. Hope you had a good time too. Comment, like, subscribe, and be blessed. Bye.